welcome 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 back to my channel hello if you are new here my name is jabrielle but you can call me the moon minister as well i am a spiritual minister of over i believe over like eight or seven years now i've married people laid people to rest prayed help people connect with spirit as well as i'm an author i have a manifestation guide i have children's spiritual books i have diaries, notebooks, journals, all pertaining to spirituality and the subconscious minds dreaming and everything in between there. So that's a little bit about me. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new moon in Cancer at the 14th degree, which is a Taurus degree, you know, a degree of comfort, of of love, of of, of the luxuries and things that, that you just genuinely love because you know it's connected to that Venus aspect. But um and and it's a, a love time with the whole cancer sun and then the cancer moon, new energy. I'm I'm excited. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm excited about this transit because my sun sign is actually 14 degrees cancer. So I know this is gonna be big for me. Plus it's on the fifth. My birthday is the sixth. So like, I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about the video and I'm excited for this energy. So let's get into it. New moons are a time for sprouting. They're a time for starting things, for getting things going, for taking action. They're a time to really get in and set intention on things, really understand and get a map, a view, a goal of where you're going or where you're heading to or what you are trying to create. It's a, a time of newness. And when you mix it in with the moon, first off, the moon is already right in home with the sign of cancer and then you also have it cooped in with that 14th degree of taurus of comfort of things you, magnifying things that you love you know manifesting these things into your lifetime this is a great time to just bring in the love bring in beautiful connections bring in manifestation for things of comfort, things that you enjoy doing. It's the summertime, family traditions, 4th of July, being there for each other, doing things that you always normally typically do in your family or breaking away and starting new traditions and setting intentions around that and setting intentions around expanding or decluttering the family in whichever type of way is going to manifest and bring create new big things in your life. This is a great time for people to buy a new home, to get into real estate, to get in things that are matters of the home. This is gonna be a great time for that, as well as a time to be nurtured, to nurture yourself for self-care, for digging into the things that really help you feel centered, feel more relaxed or more go with the flow type of energy and just overall a safe and comforting time now this new moon will be trining the planet of saturn this is the planet that governs discipline uh the father of time of really honing in what is needed what you really you know res being responsible about the things that you really need in order to get something completed and this will also be sextiling the planet mars of passion drive war things like that so so with that being said this new moon will not only give us the clarity needed to set intentions, but it will also give us the opportunities to take the actions and then the discipline to keep going and keep manifesting. Now let's get into the all signs. This is the part of the video where I talk about how each and how each of the zodiac signs are going to be experiencing this new moon. Now it's best to listen out for your sun, moon, and rising, especially with this being a moon transit, even though the moon, it's, it's basically a sun and moon because both the sun and moon will be in Cancer at the 14 degrees and rising because your rising deals with what your soul came here to experience. 
The sun sign deals with how publicly how people publicly see you, your persona, what that, how that will be handling it. And then your moon sign is how your inner feelings or mother or things that deal with the emotional side, how that will be experiencing this energy. The people who will be experiencing this energy the most are going to be people who have Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Aries, all in their sun, moon, or rising signs. And especially if they have the degrees of 12 to 16. Now, this is happening on the 14th degree, but if you have anything that's in your sun, moon, rising that is from 12 to 16 degrees, you will be feeling this the most, as well as having those cardinal signs of Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, and Aries, and then thrown in there also Taurus, you will be experiencing this energy the most. It'll be, you know, it'll be evident. It'll be on you. And I know for myself, like I said, my son is a 14th degree Cancer. So I know I'll be one of the people that share how I experience it. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. Let's get into how each of the signs are going to experience it. Now, we all have a 14th degree and cancer you know we all have a 14 degree if you look on our wheel we all have the you know we all have certain degrees and certain signs um for myself although i'm an aquarius rising so aquarius rising may be experiencing this in a whole different other house when i go into my chart i can see that where the 14th degree in cancer lies is right there in the fifth house so I know along with listening out for my rising sign is important at the same time. It's also important to listen out to the fifth house because that's where, you know, publicly I'll be experiencing this and where it'll really shine, especially having that degree hit right on my sun. So listening out for both whatever my rising, which is Aquarius, and then listen out for whatever the fifth house is going to be in will be beneficial for me, as well as also listening out for, um, you know, the other things which are the moon. I feel like those will definitely benefit you, especially with this being a sun and a moon type of um, conjunction of energy. So that's how I would listen out for it. Use your best way or your best discernment when it comes to astrology on how you should listen out for it. Now, without further ado, let's get into this all signs. Aries. Hello, Aries. You guys are going to be experiencing this new moon in your fourth house of setting new intentions around your home, around your family, around your roots and your lineage. So this could manifest as looking like maybe you finally decide that you're going to get on Ancestry and figure out your ancestors and something beautiful or financial pops up from this. Like maybe you find you have land or you find the people who have um, captured your family and you're able to sue and you're able to get gain luck that, I mean, not luck, but money that comes or a certain type of value that comes from this type of setting intention around your family. Maybe you do something new to your home and it increases your value, the way you look and the way your mindset is about where you live. Maybe this is a time frame for you to take action in investing in a family member and a loved one, a child, investing in your own family, investing in something that's good for you that'll help extend your family. So this is a great time for just family, investing in family, whether that be physically, financially, mentally, this is going to be a great time for those type of things. Taurus. Taurus, you are going to be experiencing this new moon in your third house of news, information, gossip, communication, social media, cousins, local people, neighbors, siblings, things like that, people who are not necessarily in your everyday, but still are in your life. You know what I'm saying? That type of energy is going to be 
going on or setting new intentions or new things around this may be a time where you get new information about siblings or about neighbors or so you may get new information that's coming around in your communities or in your social groups this is a great time if you are an entrepreneur to really get your projects out there get it around people who are in your local area or people who are in your in your community groups online. This is a great time to extend whatever you have to say. It's a great time for, for people to just be hearing you out. This is that type of energy. Definitely, if you have a Taurus rising, this is a time for you to get information that you need out there to expand yourself and really promote and put yourself in that front view for a longer growth or experience when the full moon comes. Gemini's, you will be experiencing this new moon in your second house of setting new intentions around your investments, around where you work, how you create money, where your sources of income come from, your value, and overall, what all you need to feel secure. So for you, this is a great time to start a budget, to a great time to really look at where you're investing your money, really a great time to put in an application or really set new intentions around your business, what you wanna do, how it's gonna outlook in your legacy, how and little steps that you can take that'll help you grow towards your end goal. This is a great time for that. And just really building your self-esteem up and making sure that you're comfortable in your skin and who you are so that you can manifest and attract the lifestyle and the money that you want. Cancers, you or we, as I should say, you know, for this time, I like to always claim myself as an Aquarius, but when it comes to cancer season, I'm back to being a cancer, okay? That's my sun sign. Cancers, we are experiencing this new moon in our first house of self, your identity, how people see you, how you are being perceived. There's going to be new intentions and just overall newness, starting new things around the self around the self department. So maybe this looks like getting your hair changed, especially if this is the time of your birthday or in alignment with you being born. You're definitely going to be getting your hair uh, switched up, new wardrobes, outfits, new look at how people in the family are perceiving you. Some people may get, you know, a, a switch up on things that they love, new tattoos, things that you love or things that you've always longed to do. Is This is going to be a great time to switch it up so that you can really express yourself in those manners. Some people will also be experiencing a new status change. People will be getting married around this time, getting proposed to, being seen differently, uh, just really overall transformation of self and of growth and having and having love around that leos you will be experiencing this new moon in your 12th house of setting new intentions or having new experiences in the subconscious mind in your inner world discovering new hidden talents that you had or things that you just normally don't talk about coming to light this could look like a great time to have a hypnotherapy session done, a great time to meditate, do guided meditations, uh, really set intentions of understanding or connecting to the spirit. Uh, this is a great time for that. You will definitely gain wisdom, gain something that really blossoms over in the full moon uh, from this experience uh, from this time. This is a time where some people will discover certain hidden talents that they had, maybe from past lives that they understand or from their childhood that they didn't understand before. And now they understand it and they're able to use it to expand or do something that's great within their lifetime or something that's going to really fully blossom um, with time and with really honing in on the skill. Virgos, you will be experiencing this new moon in your 11th house of having new friends, new people to network with, new communities, whether it be social or local, creating them or really 
falling right into it. These things will help you. They will help manifest over time. This is something that's going to take time um, to really blossom and bloom. You could be creating new connections with these friends, new relationships that overall benefit you or that you learn e or evolve from. This is also a time where these type of people can help connect you with your dreams as well as the things that you want to do. These people are here to help shift you into the direction of your goals and really, really build up off of these people. Libras, you will be experiencing this new moon in your 10th house of setting new intentions around your career, your reputation, how others perceive you, as well as your overall life path. So maybe you get information, insight, or new connections around people that help expand what you came here to do in this lifetime. This is a great time to really go after that career you were going for or really set intentions around it. So if you wanted to do something that involves going to college, this is a great time to do some research on which college you wanna to go to. This is a great time to do research on the job that you are inquiring about. This is a great time to really network or get in touch with people who do what you do to gain a mentor so that you can really be able to set foot in what you want to do for the rest of your life. This is a great time. You know how there's times where people just wake up like randomly like, okay, I need to get my life together. This is like one, Libra, Libra rising, Libra risings. You will be experiencing that during this new moon. You will have so many moments where you're like, okay, I need to really get my life together. I need to map this out and plan this out because you know this is just the energy that's going to be arising. Do not fret. Do not feel like you need to get it all together right there at that instance. This is something that just manifests over time. So take your time with this. This is the rest of your life. So take your time with this so that you can really manifest and hone in on all the things that you deserve. Scorpios, you will be experiencing this this new moon in your ninth house of higher learning, long distance travels, foreign affairs, things that are just experiences that are foreign in nature that aren't, you know, from your cultural background. This is a great time if you are a writer to be publishing articles or books and really getting them out there to people, especially people who are in foreign travel. If you make money online, this is a great time to be you know, making money from foreigners, from people who you just don't see in your typical day-to-day -day or, you know, life. This is those type of people really taking interest in you, taking interest in things that you like, and you taking interest as well as in them. This is a great time for that. Um, this is a great time to do research. If you're going on a trip, if you're trying to get into a new project this is a great time to do your research for that the research that you discover within this time is really going to help out your projects that you put out in a later time so this is a great time for all those type of energies this could also be a great time for falling into a long distance relationship uh expanding if you already in a long distance relationship expanding up on that um really getting in tune or in love during this time um, when it comes to the long distance or activating something within that area. So yeah, it's a good time for that. Sagittarius, you will be experiencing this new moon in your eighth house of transformation, of deep inner work, of depths and investments that you have in others, resources that you have with others. So maybe this is a time where your spouse will have a gain or a loss in something and you will be experiencing that. This is definitely the house of others. Uh, maybe debts with, um, that you have or that your partner had, maybe a time to set goals so that you can pay off those debts or maybe they've been paid off and now you're setting new intentions for what the money you can do now that you have now that you're done with your debt this can be a great time to really look into your resources that you gain from others if you have clientele really expand up on okay 
maybe this amount wasn't working. I need to up my prices. This is a great time to really charge your worth. Um, this is a great time to really do that inner work or setting new intentions around, okay, how are the people around me benefiting me? How am I benefiting off these people? And um, what do I have that to give to these people so that I'm not just taking or they're not just taking from me, but this is a equal balance relationship. So good luck with setting those intentions with that. Capricorns, you will be experiencing this new moon in your seventh house of relationships, whether those are love relationships, family relationships, friendship relationships, business clientele type of relationships, as well as business partners um, and clients in those type of um, relationships. So maybe you are setting new intentions, like I said, um, to raise your prices or to extend upon what type of clientele you're ready to take in. Maybe these are endings and beginnings in certain relationships with family members, with friends, with loved ones. Uh, Brandon, go downstairs. This is a really great time to really have that discipline, especially if you have someone in your life that isn't doing you no good and you know they're not doing you no good. This is a great time to have that discipline of cutting them off and then keeping them off so that you can, you know, rise up and become the pe person that you're meant to be. Certain people can drain you. And this is going to be a time of, for clarity of seeing that so that you can release those type of people, let them go so that you can expand and really grow the structure that is needed to be the best person person you can be Aquarius us Aquarius Ooh. we will be experiencing this new moon in our sixth house of health of pets of daily routine service and self-care for my Aquariuses I know for myself I just had a baby so this is definitely speaking to that self-care making sure that we're doing the healing that is needed to take care of ourselves so that we can service and help others. That is really big for me during this time or going on during this time, really. Um, this is a great time to seek out mentorship, whether that's through a therapist, whether that's through um, mentoring programs. I know for myself, uh, we have this like moms to be program out here in my area. So I've definitely reached out. Um, they help with resources. They also help with just your mental health, checking up on you, being there for you and the baby and providing care information and just a shoulder to lean on. So I definitely extended myself out for that so that I can make sure that if that time comes up where I'm like, whoa, this is too much, I have those reinforcements to help me get through the things that I need to heal through during this time. Um, if you need a therapy pet this is a great time for that to have that emotional support that a pet can naturally give you um this is a great time just to really look into your routines the things that you're doing on a daily and set new intentions around them so that you can help better yourself like i said this will take discipline and saturn is here to give us that discipline needed so that we can overall manifest and build into the person we need to do, we need to heal so that we can be the person that we need to be for others, help service others and be of a greater purpose. So, you know, we're Aquarius, uh, those Aquarius risings were all, all about, you know, helping the collective. So, but in order to help the collective, we have to help ourselves first. So this is a time for that of inner healing, helping ourselves so that we can help out the world in a sense. So. Good luck with that. And last but not least, Pisces. Pisces, you will be experiencing this new moon in your fifth house of setting new intentions around joy, around children, romance, uh, around taking risk and things of that nature, things that bring you joy. So maybe this is a time where you're like, you know what? It's summertime. Let's set out, you know, for these vacations, these things that are in my grasp that bring me joy maybe you set out new intentions for your business this is a great for entrepreneurs to really take that risk take that goal um and really shift forward for it um launch that business you know it's a great time for that or to set new intentions around okay this is when i'm gonna launch and really have that discipline that is needed and those opportunities to take action 
um, up on the things that you desire, things that are going to bring you joy and help you overall in those departments of really uh, having, you know, the time of your life. Um, if you're someone who plays sports, this is a great time for that to take those risks, to take those journeys, to take those gambles and really set intentions around okay this is what i'm going to do as an athlete and really have that motivation and that discipline to really get that get it done so good luck with that now that we talked about the all signs and how each sign is going to experience this energy let's talk about rituals that are great for this time um starting with cleansing and clarity like of course with this cancer new moon this is a great time for cleansing for clarity you can cleanse yourself your home uh your family your children this is a great time for that maybe you do that um with sage maybe you do that with certain herbs you can burn herbs you can also use just straight up water salt water giving your children a salt water bath giving yourself a salt water bath um throwing salt water up on your door and washing off your door to bring in new energy to your home. Um, you can also put um, cleanse, um, salt as well as water on the four corners outside of your house to lay um, cleansing around the house and then also put a layer of protection down as well after you cleanse so you make sure that you release any negative energy and that you have new protection to protect against that energy so that it doesn't come back um this is a great time to water gaze where you stare up on water and you meditate and you really just let your imagination fill you up with what you need to know or what needs to come to you during this time. This is a great time for rituals like that. Um, rituals that pertain with water, that pertain with um, comforting, with um, grounding. These are a great time to work with water and earth elements. This is a great time for cutting cords in relationships. If you um, do a, this is a great time if you get into candle work when it deals with cutting cords with someone that you no longer wanna be with. This is a great time for love manifestation, for love rituals or love magic. Now I always say do not, you know, you know, bind someone against their will when it comes to love. This is, uh, new moons are dark energy. So you can definitely use that darkness, but you know, it's up to you how you want to live your life, it's, 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 however you want to make it. I always say, don't do it, you know, let the love be natural. But if you're a type of person that's like, you know what? F that, I'm gonna do it. Just do you because listen, it that's not an easy route. There's trials, tribulations, continuations that come with things like that. But like I said, with the darkness energy of the new moon, this is definitely a time to deal with power, darkness, control, and things of that nature. So just use the magic with the, with caution, okay? Um, this is, like I said, a great time for banishing, getting rid of certain things, um, get, releasing certain energies, and overall, a great time for going, getting a mentor and setting intention, um, intention magic, as well as um, knowledge, wisdom, uh, understanding, and guidance. This is a great time for things of that nature. And lastly, we're going to get into the journaling prompts. I have journals down below on my Amazon page if you would like to get a journal from me. But if you already have your own journal, let's get into journaling prompts that are great for this time. Starting with what intention am I setting for this new moon? I feel like this is plain. This is simple. This is should be the number one thing that we are focused on right now is setting new intention, getting it written out, getting it spoken out, speaking into the universe, understanding what we are trying to harvest, what we're trying to grow during this season, because this is a time for newness. This is a time for comfort, of, of, of bringing in life, of nurturing the things that we want into reality. Um, this is cancer energy this is the mother energy creating the womb so this is a perfect time to really get a clear understanding of what we are trying to birth into this world so that 
when that Capricorn full moon comes around, we have the structure needed to really have it and have it be there and clear. So yes, journaling prompting of setting and writing out, sitting down and writing out what you are setting intention around for this new moon is a must do, okay? So that's one. Another one that is great um, during this time um, is asking yourself what did I receive from this new moon? Now, like I said, with myself, I'm having my, my I have my son and um, cancer at 14 degrees. So I know publicly this is something that people will, you know, be able to see up on me, um, a certain type of change or newness. So I know once I experience it, I can write out like, okay, this is what the joy and the new, um, transformation of self that this um, new moon has brought me. Normally new moons can range from t within two week span, a week before and week after of the new moon. So this is no rush. You can write it out whenever you know you experience this and really get an understanding of how you're working with and connecting with the universe and how it's showing up for you so that you can better shift, create and shift and create your own reality this is your life it is time for you to take charge of it and i am just here and i'm so thankful to be a part of that journey to be a part of uplifting teaching and showing you how you can do that so thank you for watching this video for joining along hopefully you don't hear too much of my kids running around doing too much in the background hey i'm a mother of three it's gonna happen so yes let's bring on this new moon energy until next time bye you guys